Today the video about AutoCAD, how to make dynamic blocks for H profile or I profile. Um, I have this kind of block. Uh, you can choose any profile you would like. Um, there's also function that it show you by hidden <coughs> lines of the text, which sometimes helpful. And also there's opportunity that uh, it's not only cross section, it's also top view and uh, side view. But today will be a first video, or let's say demo video, and I will show you only the first part how to make sections changes uh, like this. And I also don't want to put radius for now because mm, for also for basic engineering design it's not really needed. If you don't do fabrication drawings, you actually don't care about radius. It's good to know, uh, to remember about that, but not so important. So let's start. This is our profile. Uh, yeah, prepared, let's say, and we make a block. We make a block. Mm, settings like this. We say HA test. Okay basic point top of the flange okay here we are then we go to block editor in the block editor mm, we start with in some linear parameters uh, it's important to remember when is your starting point of the parameter so the starting point left and for here starting port point the top okay here we are now we need to rename it it will be easier for us to manipulate so width and height so now we need to make uh, actions the parameters the action is really easy this is strength uh, we choose one parameter, point, uh, one rectangular, and the second rectangular. So we, we select objects which will be affected by the parameter. Okay, okay. The same things for the left side. We choose a point, area, and the objects. Okay. We go to the settings of the parameter. We say we need symmetrically. Uh, strange stretch it and uh, we don't want to show um, handles <clears throat> and for the height we also do stretch we say active point and we select the objects okay so now our elements are parametrical and we need to make a table kind of uh, table which have or keep all parameters uh, in this case we need to use lookup and put it here then we go to the to the settings or to the chart and just say add properties which we added before okay we have width and height uh, just more or less we say 100 and 140 for relatively relative uh, HA profiles, HA 100 and HA 140. Uh, I know uh, it's not the same like this in effect, but for the example, it's enough, good enough. Okay. Uh, also, really recommend you when you do dynamic profiles, test it sometimes, because otherwise, if you test it in the end probably you need to redo everything okay and this is our profile we see also parameters here and look up parameter we can modify it from 100 to 140 and we see okay it works almost like we need but there is a small problem we check it why it can happen Should be ok, 
ok ah let's see it should be midpoint we changed it i think but uh, maybe i missed it we saved and now let's check again now profile works as we need and now i will show you how to add uh, flange thickness it's actually the same but let's do it together uh, there is also some trick thing okay everything the same we make linear parameter also remember uh, and good idea to think what will be start point and what will be end point so our height is fixed right and then flanges should be uh, change thickness inside the profile that's why linear parameter for the top flange start point at the top of the profile and uh, starting point another flange from the bottom part of the profile okay we say it like this and then stretch it point okay here as we as i explained to you before select and select objects and the same for <coughs> the top flange stretch parameter point rectangular and then objects okay looks good then i think i don't need to see this parameter then we say showing properties now start point this is correct here we say also we don't need handles and um, start point correct show properties yes mm -hmm. what else we need we need to rename it it is a good idea we say it flange and it's clear go to lookup parameter again oh not rename action display lookup table okay add properties now we're here flange and distance one flange doesn't matter let's say four four and eight eight okay close save then test we see now we have a flange thickness in our properties of the profile it's eight the same like we said and we go to 100 and the flange thickness is four okay uh i think that's it for today mm, i think web thickness you can make it by yourself let me know if you still use autocad in your projects or it's not really useful video and everybody now use tecla revit or something else uh, if it was also interesting uh, then i think i can make a video uh, how to make another type of visibility and to have this profile also with uh, uh, another view like a top view of the profile and the side view of the profile and uh, okay uh, like subscribe cheers and goodbye see you next time